algorithms, and flowcharts. By the end of this session, you will learn about algorithms and flowcharts, uses of algorithms, and advantages of using flowcharts. How do you prepare sandwich? Take two slices of bread. Cut their edges. Spread butter on both sides. Put the veggie stuffing on one slice. Put sliced salad like cucumbers and tomatoes on the other slice. Join the two slices together and then heat the sandwich in a toaster. Your sandwich is ready. So, we follow the steps to make sandwich. Similarly, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure, in a logical order, to solve any problem. Algorithm forms the basis of computer programming. To solve any problem on computer first, you need to analyze the problem, and understand its nature. Then you prepare step-by-step -step methods, to work on the input, according to which, output is prepared by the computer. Algorithm can be easily converted into a computer program, through any programming language. Let's see an algorithm to calculate the average of two numbers. Turn on the calculator. Enter the first number. Press the plus button. Enter the second number. Press the equals button, to display sum. Now divide the sum by 2, by pressing backslash your divide button. Press the equals button, to see the average. A flow chart, is a graphical illustration of an algorithm, containing step-by-step -step instructions, written inside shapes, to solve any problem. The purpose of a flowchart, is to make the program easy to understand, in any programming language. A flowchart contains different shapes like input, process, decision making, and output. The steps are written inside geometric symbols, and are connected to each other, through flow lines. Let us see the different flowchart symbols. The terminal box is used, at the start, and end of the flowchart. It is in the shape of an oval. The input, or output box contains the steps, to input the data, or to show the output. It is in the shape of, parallelogram. The processing box is where, all the processing steps are shown. Processing means calculation, data interpretation, etc. Flow lines show the direction of the order, in which the computer will understand the instructions. The decision box demonstrates an operation, that needs logical decision making. The result of decision making can be either true, or false. The round shape connector is used when the flowchart is too long to fit on a single page. It connects the part of a flowchart. Flowchart to add two numbers. The oval shaped terminal box, marks the start of the flowchart. The input, or output box, inputs the value of two numbers, A, and, B. The processing box shows the addition of two numbers, A, and, B. The input, or output box is here, is used to display the sum of two numbers. The terminal box appears again, this time to signal the end, stop, of the flowchart. Flowchart to calculate area of a rectangle. The terminal box starts the flowchart. The input-output box, inputs the value of length, and breadth, of rectangle. The processing box shows the multiplication of length, and breadth, to calculate its area. The input-output box is here, is used to display area of rectangle. The terminal box sends the flowchart. Advantages of preparing flowchart 
The graphical representation used in flowcharts makes the steps more defined and exact. The steps are clearly outlined, and any error can be easily checked and rectified. The logical steps are defined in a step by step illustration, which helps in better communicating the process to a user. Flowcharts are effective in translating the plain algorithms from problem solving steps into a programming language. The step by step method of flowcharts helps in understanding the problem better. Flowchart to compare two numbers. If the first number is greater than the second number, find and display their difference. Otherwise, find and display their sum. Start. Read A. B. Is a greater than B? Is yes. Subtract A minus B. Print subtraction. If A is not greater than B, add A plus B. Print addition. Stop. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.